文句言ってたのギン僕死神になる Whether it's instinctive or intuitive, every human experiences emotions of joy, sadness, anger, and fear. In the world of Bleach, the author Kubo created a man who wanted to become God. And although characters tried to stop him, they all instinctively fail, whether it's because of a lack of power or falling into fear and anger. However, besides the main protagonist, there is one who defies these emotions. And for only a moment, cornered the man who claimed to be God. Welcome to the tragedy of the young prodigy that betrayed God. When it comes to Bleach, the concept of emotion is used quite frequently. You see, the Soul Society taught that showing emotion was a sign of weakness and that one should never shed a tear. However, it is because of this that each and every captain, lieutenant, and even seated officer who doesn't show emotion is corrupt at the start of the show. Renji refused to show his emotional side. He was actually crying on the inside because he was afraid to rescue Rukia. At the end of the day, it just comes down to society and the world calling emotion weak. When in all reality it isn't. It shows us the true side of humanity. It allows us to properly understand what is going on around us. It gives us the ability to make those tough calls that logic just can't. Gin Ichimaru was one of those soul reapers that was told to never show emotion. However, there's a difference between Gin and the other captains. And that difference is that before becoming a captain, and after the Soul Society arc, Gin had to continue to hide his emotions. He couldn't even admit them in private around the single person that he cared about, Rangiku. Who is Gin Ichimaru though? Gin was raised in the area we call the Rukan Guy. While living there, he came across a small child named Rankiku. She appeared to have collapsed on the ground out of pure starvation. So Gin gave her some food, and he comforted her, explaining to her that she had only collapsed because of her immense spiritual pressure. It was at this moment, although they hadn't realized it yet, that a dark love story was born. A few days later after they started living together, Gin asked Rangiku when her birthday was. Sad and Rangiku replied that she just didn't know. It was at this moment that Gin declared that from here on out, her birthday would be the day that they had met. While living with Rangiku, Gin would go out on many walks. One of these walks, Gin saw three soul reapers bowing down to Lord Aizen, seeing them hand him this weird stone. It was at this moment he remembered nights ago seeing the same three soul reapers around the same area that Rangiku had collapsed in. Gin had realized what had happened. He figured out everything and at this moment he swore that he would kill Aizen, so that by the end Rangiku wouldn't cry. Instead, she would smile. So he became a Shinigami of Aizen's squad, and then he murdered a Shinigami to gain Aizen's attention. It was at this moment Aizen approached Gin. Aizen was falling for the trap. Aizen invited him to join his secret rebellion. Gin accepted, and as such, Gin put on a disguise and rose to the lieutenant seat. He was considered the young prodigy. Little did Gin know that his story would end so abruptly. The true tragedy of the man who betrayed God was that Gin had emotions. Emotions that were sealed away for over a hundred years, but still emotions. They were screaming out every time he killed, every time he had to help Aizen carry out his plan, and especially every time he had to turn his back on Rangiku. He had to, because he believed that he was the only one who could pull it off. It didn't matter how painful it was, he had to completely hide his emotions for the second Aizen would see them, Gin would lose, and all that pain that he had already experienced would have been for nothing. And to be honest, he pulled it off. There was one person that realized that there was more to the story though, and that kid is Ichigo Kurosaki. Ichigo vs Gin was a phenomenal battle because it increased the mystery of Gein, and made the audience realize that there was more to the story. While the natural aesthetic of a snake, the Soul Society arc, and his strange personality changes every time he saw Rangiku, already did this quite well, the fight with Ichigo and Gein firm dates that there is more to the story. When Ichigo says, I changed the subject. With you, it's an entirely different matter. Despite how much I try to read you, almost nothing comes through, even in the midst of the fight. 
You weren't completely engaged. I don't know what you were thinking about, but it wasn't the battle with me. <laughs> this is an example of how well Gein was hiding his emotions, and honestly it brings us to the point where we know there is more to Gein. The true tragedy of Gein Ichimaru is that in the long run, Gein technically won. However, in the process he died. He went through all that pain for no happiness as he is thrown into the nearby building. Rangiku runs towards him crying. Gein slowly breathes his last as for one moment he recognizes his failure. He actually beats himself over it. However, suddenly Ichigo comes out. Looking at Ichigo's eyes, Gin smiles as he sees the despair that he fought out of him was now gone, and that he only saw strength. He now realized that he can die in peace, because he can entrust Ichigo with the task of killing the man who claimed to be God. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm going to be honest, I really enjoyed writing this one. I definitely feel like writing wise it's one of my better videos, and overall it's probably my best video I've ever made. Um, I do want to explain a few things really quickly. I promise I won't waste any of your time. Anyway, 3, 2, 1, go. Second thing I want to talk about is when I said that Gein won. Um, I only said this because Gein fights the fear out of Ichigo. Ichigo was scared out of Aizen, and after Gein's fight with Ichigo, Ichigo is no longer really scared of Aizen. So yeah, that's why I said that. Anyway, uh, the final thing I want to say is if you guys like Bleach, please consider subscribing today. Also, hit that like button. I eventually plan to make videos on all 13 of the original captains. So yeah, I'll see you guys around.